In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2SO4, barium chloride plus sodium sulfate. First thing we need to do is write the balanced molecular equation. So this is not balanced yet. To balance it, I think we just put a two right here and this equation is balanced. That's our molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each of the substances here. So barium chloride, chlorides are very soluble, write an aqueous and then sodium sulfate, that's also very soluble, right aqueous. If we look up barium sulfate on a solubility table, we'll see that this is insoluble. It won't dissolve. Because of that, it's a precipitate in this reaction. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. We're going to write S for solid because it's insoluble. It's at the bottom of the beaker as a solid. Sodium chloride, chlorides again, very soluble. So we'll write an AQ after that. Those are the states. Now we can split the soluble compounds into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. So let's use the periodic table to help us out a little here. The periodic table, we can find the charges on the ions, at least the single ions. So barium right here, group two, two plus. Chlorine over here, we have the one minus. So we'll just put a minus up there. So each one of these chlorine ions here is negative. Sodium, group one positive. Sulfate, that's not on the periodic table. You can use a table of common polyatomic ions to look that up, and you could see the sulfate right here. That's 2 minus. It's also a good one to remember. Put our 2 minus up here. So we said 2 plus, 2 minus, plus, and minus. So we have a balanced molecular equation, and we have the charges on the ions. So now we can split them apart. So I have Ba2+, plus, and I'm not going to write aqueous right now after each one. We'll do that at the end. Plus that chloride ion, Cl-, minus. we have two of them. So we put a coefficient of 2 in front, plus Na+. Plus. And again, we have two of those. And then we have our sulfate ion, plus SO4, 2 minus. And when those react, we'll get these compounds here. Now we said we were going to split the soluble compounds into their ions. This says solid after it. It's not soluble. It's insoluble. So we really can't split this up. So we're just going to write BaSO4 and write a little S after it. We don't split it apart. The aqueous here, this NaCl, it's aqueous. So we can say Na plus, and we have two of those, plus Cl minus. And again, the two applies to everything here. So we have two of those. This is our complete ionic equation. And now we can cross out the spectator ions that appear on both sides. So the spectator ions don't change in the chemical reaction. We start out with two Cl minus, two chloride ions. We end up with two chloride ions. So we're not really interested in those. They didn't change. So we're going to get rid of those. They're still dissolved in the solution. And the same for the two sodium ions. Didn't change. Cross them out. What we're interested in is what changed. The barium ion, the sulfate ion, reacting to form the solid barium sulfate. So this is the net ionic equation. Let's clean this up a little bit. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus Na2SO4, barium chloride plus sodium sulfate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.